Hi, I'm Joe Ravita from Empire Music, empiremusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we are one of only a handful of Taylor Guitars online preferred dealers worldwide, which means we bring you the coolest, the newest, the rarest Taylor Guitars, like the Taylor Guitar I'm gonna show you today. Go to empiremusic.com, check out our entire Taylor selection, you can chat with us through the site, you can see all of our financing options, see all the photos of every guitar, no stock photos. You can chat with us through there, call me, text me, 412-915-7118. As you know, we do full factory setups on everything we sell, not just inspections. Head to toe, full setup. Make sure when the guitar comes to you, it's ready to play, which sets us up. We love to do that stuff and send you great guitars. And Taylor's killing it right now. They're bringing out tons of cool new stuff. And none is cooler, I don't think, than this new limited edition Taylor 424 CE limited edition Urban Ash. Only about 300 worldwide for this, so a really uh, low production guitar, which is awesome because it's always cool to get something unique. And the standout thing about it to me right away is it's natural. You know, Taylor's um, historically gone all around on woods like this. Sometimes they'll do a shaded edge burst, sometimes they'll do a, a fuller burst, sometimes they'll just leave it natural. And I love seeing the natural woods because I think it really stands out. And Urban Ash is a wood that uh, Andy Powers began using with the Builders Edition uh, 324 CE, part of their um, urban wood uh, initiative where they're trying to use woods that are within resources that will be able to contain to be sustainable. And that's going to be a big story about guitar building as we move forward for every manufacturer, but Taylor's really at the forefront of it. And Urban Ash is a wood from California that um, has a very, wait for it, woodsy tone obnoxious i know it was even annoying how i said it but uh, i i don't like using adjectives like that but it's a great way to describe this wood it's very mahogany-esque um with some koa lushness it's uh very very concise which i love i love balance and this guitar top to bottom is very very balanced um you can see top back and side the, the wood grain is really beautiful what's cool about these is if you select one your guitar will stand out from all the other ones around it, you know, because each green is going to be really unique. Um, Ebony fingerboard and bridge, expression system two, and of course, V-class bracing, which helps with the sustain and the balance as well. Um, Urban Ash is one of those woods that as soon as you play it, it kind of sounds different than everything else. So what's really cool about it is it's going to offer you a different flavor to your guitar collection. So if you have a handful of guitars, most of us who have acoustic guitars, if you have an acoustic guitar or just a handful, most of them are gonna be spruce topped, right? And then you'll have different backs and sides to color that top. With an all urban ash wood design, we're gonna get that kind of roundness, that clarity, that um, boxiness or organic sound of the mahogany-ish or koa-ish type of wood. Um, top to bottom on this, which is really cool. So you definitely would be hard pressed to find another guitar in your collection that would perform like this. Um, I like to do dynamic range and I like to do the mids of guitars to check the balance. I always say this with the Taylor videos, the balance and the mids, you know, Taylor's mastered that. I mean, even in guitars that the wood combination doesn't really lend to great balance, they give you the most balance. On an instrument like this, it's extremely balanced. What's really important to know about this particular instrument is anything like this, Urban Ash or a Mahogany or a Koa, you're not gonna get as much headroom as you would on a spruce top guitar. So if you're a very heavy player, this probably would max out before you'd like it to. I tend to find that very rarely, and we've, I've sold Taylor guitars almost half my life, and uh, I don't see too many players that come in that really play normally with that much attack. But if you're one of those really, really heavy players, you're gonna wanna stay spruce. For everybody else, what's amazing about it is by going with the top like this, we get faster response. So when we play lighter, we get more tone and we get more volume with less work. So if you're a light picker, if you're a finger style player, you're gonna notice that this guitar offers more bloom and more tone immediately. And as we build, we're still able to get a lot of fullness and round this out of sound with plenty of volume, but still keep the definition of each string, which I prefer. So let's take it out top to bottom.
what I love about this guitar, and we, you know, it's funny, is we talk to so many guitar customers, we always, how much you know, bottom end, bottom end, bottom end. The bottom end sounds great. The top end on this guitar is exquisite. I mean, it is unbelievable. It's very, like, beautiful sounding. It's got that edge to it that lets you know that it's present, but not the jangliness that many of us don't prefer. So it's got a lot of body to it. But that top end is this very beautiful and powerful. And I think that's important because oftentimes we have guitars that because consumers seem to want that bottom end, that the brands are making guitars, not Taylor specifically, but brands are building guitars that are very bassy and everything else is kind of like muddy and lost. Here, that top end is super present. And I just think if you are picking through chords or strumming through your open chords, you're gonna have that really top end glisten that is just spectacular. So really, really pleasant. Uh, well, plenty of headroom. I mean, it's just like, if you're playing much heavier than I am, um, at that point, it's, it's more difficult to be accurate, but there are some players that are like that, but I think that that's representative of a heavy attack for most of us and it performs uh, very well. So let's go through the middle of the guitar for balance. Um, this guitar is gonna be great at it because the wood combination, the V-class bracing really lead to kind of a perfect scenario for this one. It's awesome. I mean, mids are fat, full, but defined. I don't think you can ask for a whole lot more than that. Um, it really offers a um, a lot of immediate satisfaction, but as the notes bloom, they really give you some gorgeous overtones, which I like. It just really sounds pleasant. Um, like I said, I think if this guitar just had a weakness, it would be the super heavy attack players, but I don't know how many of them of you are out there, but... Uh, otherwise, the 424 CE Urban Ash is a home run. It's awesome. It's beautiful because it's all solid wood made in the USA, Urban Ash, El Natural. It's a beautiful black binding, mahogany neck, B-class bracing, expression system two, obviously the cutaway. You know, we do full factory setups, so we're going to get it dialed in and ready to rock for you. Give us a call, 412-343-5299. Subscribe to our channel if you dig our content. That would be awesome. We're Taylor Guitar Experts. We're here to help you out. We'll make sure your guitar is ready to play when you get it, and we'll make sure you get the right guitar. So if this isn't the one for you, we have the right one for you if you're in the world of Taylor or anything else on our site. So this is the Taylor 424 CE Urban Ash Limited Edition, about 300 worldwide. I'm Joe from Empire Music, empiremusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.